Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey there, Pisces. It's Dana. How the heck are you doing, Pisces? It is time for the once a month check in for Pisces. Let's see what these cards have to say for whomever it is that needs to hear a message. All right, let's just let's just mix them up really good. As you know, if you're a regular here in my space, I do read reversals. If you're new to the channel, it's probably going to freak you out because I read reversals. So, <laughs> so there you go. If you don't read reversals, you're only playing with half the deck, Pisces. All right, let's see what's going on here for you guys, for the spicy Pisces. I think I need to do that one more time. I just feel like I need to do that one more time. All right. All right, let's do it. Give me a chance to channel. We'll lay out a message and see what it has to say. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces here with me, Spirit. And Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Pisces? And what does Pisces need to know and understand about themselves their lives and their future. Ooh, it feels good right there. All right, let's do it. Let's go. One, <laughs> two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Swords. Ouch. To the Two of Cups, to the Moon in reverse, and the King of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles. That's all going to make hella sense to us in just a minute. Woo-wee! First card out, the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled. Comfort, happiness, satisfaction. All right, you guys, couple of things you need to know about me before we dive into this whole thing is that I'm told that I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I will probably swear, maybe even be a little irreverent, and I may or may not smoke my vape on camera. So if any of that bothers you, it is absolutely time for you to swim to calmer waters, Pisces, because this is going to scare you, okay? All right. I am also a Taurus sun, but I'm a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus in Western astrology. So let's do it. Nine of Cups, first card out it sets the tone for everything and then justice is down here saying this is all in your best interest so let's see what is what is the nine of cups for pisces right here what is the nine of cups all right pisces this is what's going on you guys okay this is what's going on so up at the top here we open up with pisces being super happy in the nine of cups right wishes fulfilled comfort happiness satisfaction you open this reading being in a place of a good place a, a really good place seven of pentacles comes next and says that you have to take a step back and reevaluate some things seven is the number of reflection and assessment it is about looking at the motivations of a situation, observing the motivations of a situation, and getting to the bottom of something, okay? So, you're all happy and everything, but the, the cards are telling you that everything is not as it seems, okay? And that you, you need to take a step back and reevaluate the situation. Why? Well, the star in reverse. Because where it is you are now is not going to be purposeful for your future, okay? The magician in reverse uh, talks about a, a, a blockage in your ability to manifest. Um, it's also a card, it's about an inability to manifest, but it's about poor planning, okay? So poor planning. So the magician in reverse, we have poor planning right here. Um, untapped talents, poor planning. Okay, so something is going to happen to your Nine of Cups countenance 
and you need to pay attention to it because of poor planning okay to the moon this moon um, is talking about the internal struggle of the Pisces the moon is always the same no matter what for every human being on the face of the planet the moon is always the struggle between that which you know to be true in your guts and that which you are not recognizing as the truth okay what is this well this tells me that whomever this message is for knows deep down inside of themselves that things need to change are going to change but they are refusing to be proactive about it okay they're just gliding along in this wishes fulfilled comfort happiness satisfaction card right here I asked what the root of this was. What is the root of this Nine of Cups? Well, it's the hangman. We have Pisces here. We have Pisces in the moon. It's also Cancer, but we're talking Pisces right now, okay? So the hangman. Um, you are just kind of hanging in this happy place right here. Just kind of hanging there. The hangman says you need to take a step back and have a new perspective, just like that Seven of Pentacles does, okay? And the King of Swords comes on top of it and says take some intellectual action to make some authoritative responsible powerful decisions in your life because i'm here to tell you that this happy happy go go situation right here is not going to last for you okay and you know this in your guts but you are refusing to act on it the lovers in reverse to the ten of pentacles in reverse whatever situation you're in whatever situation you're in or will step into in a minute um, is not in your best interest it is a misaligned relationship um, they are not see you're counting on this relationship somehow to give you some kind of foundation or stability um, in some aspect of your life and it's not going to judgment just like the king of swords conscious cognitive decision to see the truth of a situation and make a decision that is in your best interest eight of swords in reverse right here says you need a new perspective you need to get out of this happy happy thing that you got going on here and see it for the reality that it is could be a job could be a job offer that you are taking and you're like oh this is great this is going to be awesome this is it but no it's not down the road it's going to blow up in your face could be a relationship that you are entering into oh this is perfect he or she is perfect they are perfect but no they're not and there is some kind of check in your gut about the whole thing pisces that you are tending to ignore don't ignore that be proactive and circumvent this whole blow up okay three of wands in reverse lack of foresight lack of foresight obstacles to your long-term goals mm -hmm. lack of foresight to the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune says if you will listen to what it is that we are trying to tell you in the moon card this deep knowing that you have deep inside of you but you don't want to accept it as the truth if you will pay attention to that we will work everything out for you but you're not paying attention to that and therefore the wheel of fortune cannot work everything out for you because they cannot go against your free will okay so the wheel of fortune says there's a turning point there's a better way there's something that is better than this for you seven of swords in reverse break free from a futile mentality because you are about to get deceived somehow in this situation judgment in reverse it's not a good decision it's a bad decision to the three of wands in reverse it's a bad decision not to see what's coming it's a bad decision to not acknowledge these gut feelings in this moon card right here a lack of foresight is going to end up being a very bad decision in your life pisces okay the three of swords grief sorrow pain what is that associated with temperance in reverse the grief the sorrow and the pain is why pisces is not acknowledging their intuition in the moon card 
okay? Because to acknowledge your intuition in that moon card means that you are going to have to face some kind of grief, sorrow, or pain in your life. Mm -hmm. Temperance in reverse talks about an imbalance. See, temperance is the card of the all, all four of the characteristics of the human nature. It represents in the upright, peace in the mind, peace in the emotions, peace in the desires, and peace in the sense of well-being. In the reverse, there is no peace in any of that. Untempered. You, untempered. How are you untempered? You're not tempering yourself to listen to your intuition. It's trying to tell you something. The Three of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Cups. Options, choices, de decisions, confusion, perhaps making some kind of move in this situation is overwhelming. Perhaps you're not seeing the forest through the trees. Perhaps you are in a state of illusion that this Nine of Cups energy is just going to keep perpetuating. But I'm here to tell you that it's not, Pisces. It's not. What's this imbalance about right here? Well, the Ten of Cups. You think it's great. Right now, maybe it is great. You think it's great three of swords but there is grief and sorrow and pain that is about to take place in this situation justice in the center of your reading being accountable for your path and your purpose justice goes to the wheel of fortune there is something better justice goes to judgment being accountable making a decision seeing the truth justice goes to the moon the struggle that you have you know something in your guts about this situation, but you do not want to accept it as the truth. Justice to the King of Swords. Justice to the Hangman. Justice everywhere. They want you to see the absolute truth of a situation because they're trying to point you in the direction of your best and highest good. Your soul is speaking to your consciousness, trying to point you towards your true north, and your mind, your flesh understanding of the way that you want things to be is refusing to accept it. Be accountable. Don't believe me? Hermit, sit down and have a conversation with whatever it is that you have named your higher power. Do some deep soul searching and introspection because they're trying to, to tell you how to avert disaster in your life, Pisces, to the Nine of Pentacles. To stand in your power. If you will follow this intuitive movement inside of you, you are going to be just fine on the other side of all of this. You're going to be just fine. Stand in your power, put in the effort to do some soul searching, some introspection to see the truth of the situation, to be accountable for your path and your purpose. Okay? Four of Pentacles. You're going to be just fine. Okay? This is about security. It's about pulling it together. You're going to be just fine. To the Queen of Pentacles. Okay in the gas tank. Okay in the refrigerator. Okay in the bills okay in every aspect of your life that is important to you pisces the pro the queen of pentacles is about your sense of well-being and she is owning her sense of well-being if you will follow this gut movement that these cards are telling me that they are telling you or will be telling you you're going to be just fine you don't need this particular situation the hierophant has to do with some kind of commitment obligation, marriage, promises, belief systems of some sort. To the Page of Swords in reverse, it's all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. I asked what the root of this Hierophant is, and it is the Four of Wands in reverse and the King of Pentacles. Um, someone is promising you some kind of something, and it's not going to come through. It's, it's not going to come through. It's either not going to come through or it's going to change. Okay? Well, how do I know that? Well, the Princess of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action, undelivered promises, clarifying the Hierophant, followed by the Princess of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action, undelivered promises. To the High Priestess, you, Pisces, you're in your reading so far like three times. The High Priestess. This is the universe. This is source 
speaking to you, trying to lead you, trying to guide you. It's the second most powerful lesson that you could ever, ever, ever grab onto. Follow your intuition. It will always lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. The first lesson is the magician, right? What you think about comes about, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, what you think about comes about. Point your mind to what your intuition is telling you to do, and you cannot fail. It will lead you consistently, constantly, never ending on the path of your best and highest good. Why? What is it trying to lead you to? What is this wheel of fortune right here trying to lead you to? Did you hear my voice trying to lead you to? What's it trying to lead you to? Well, it's trying to lead you down the path of your best and highest good. If you will manifest, explore, make some decisions, start digging into this whole thing, following your guts leads you to a situation that is going to be good. It's going to be good. Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, right? The, the hermit saying soul searching, introspection, please pay attention to what you know to be true in the moon because in the high priestess, we're speaking it to you, but your flesh is refusing to accept it because right now everything seems great, but it's not going to stay that way, Pisces. The wheel of fortune is trying to lead you to this situation right here because this is what's in your best and highest good. Princess of Cups talks about creation. The Prince of Cups talks about the exchange of, of emotions in some sort, emotional growth, more emotional growth. The Ten of Pentacles, solid, solid foundation to the lovers in a situation with someone or some other people that is divinely orchestrated into your life. An energetic exchange that is fruitful for your life to the knight of cups again this is this is the direction that they're trying to push you pisces this is the direction this this okay let's talk about this as a knight in shining armor and it doesn't have to be love but it is who it is that they need you to connect with to bring an end to this situation let me rephrase that. This is who you will be connecting with when you have the strength to bring an end to this situation. It's in your best and highest good. Could be love and romance, could be work, could be family, could be any, any, any aspect of your life, Pisces. To the Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. They're trying to lead you in the direction of success in your life but you are refusing to accept your intuition. You're refusing to talk with Source about this. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Again, what it is that you're holding on to is not going to work for you because someone is greedy in their sense of well-being. Perhaps it's you that's greedy in your sense of well-being. Perhaps this whole thing is something that you're like, oh, finally, it's, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. But man, I have this check in my guts. I have this check in my guts, but I'm just going to roll right over it because this looks really good to my human eyes. This makes really good sense to my humanness, and I'm going to ignore it. Greed in your sense of well-being. The person that this is all about up here, the person, place, thing, situation, circumstance that this is all about right here, they are greedy. Okay, that's why that Ten of Pentacles is in reverse up there. They are greedy to the Queen of Wands in reverse. And they're unfair. They're greedy. They're unfair. And uh, maybe it's a job that you're going to sign on to. And it's all freaking awesome. It's amazing. And then, you know, six months down the road, they're going to say, you know, well, you get, you know, we're paying your salary. So we need you to work 65 hours a week instead of 40 hours a week. And it totally is just, it steals your joy about life. 
could be a relationship, right? Oh, it looks great. It looks great. Everything feels good. But man, I got this check in my gut. I got this check in my gut. It, it could be anything for you, Pisces. But whoever is on the other side of this, whoever it is that you are receiving from, they have ulterior motives. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. Four of Swords in Reverse talks about being mentally restless about a lack of success in the situation. Ace of Swords, see it for what it is. See it crystal, crystal clear. Have an aha moment. Search your subconscious and find out what it is that your intuition is trying to tell you and act on it. To the chariot, this rolls you towards all of this good stuff right here. It rolls you straight into it, Pisces. Put in the self-control. What's the self-control? Well, to acknowledge that your intuition is telling you that what it is your mind thinks about this situation is not in your best and highest good. Self-control, willpower. Willpower to do what? Well, to take action, to dig in, to reevaluate, to see exactly what this is. Self-control, willpower, determination. Determination to do what? To go in the direction that your soul is telling you is in your best and highest good because there is something better than this. The sun in reverse. You're not seeing very, very clearly, Pisces. You are not seeing. What are you not seeing? The eight of pentacles. That what it is you're trying to engage in, work in, work upon, build upon, create in your life. Four of wands. The peace, the contentment that you're trying to create in your life. Ten of swords. It's going to bite you in the ass. Mm -hmm. It's going to bite you in the ass, Pisces. Why? Because you're not listening to your guts. How do I need to scream this to you, Pisces? Your intuition is your higher power trying to point you towards your true north. It is your soul that does cohabitate in the meat suit with your consciousness. It is your soul calibrating that internal compass to point you towards your true north. Listen to your intuition. Tower in reverse and avert disaster. Avert disaster, Pisces. This will be disastrous for you. Follow your intuition. And if you can't hear your intuition, you need to calm your mind and tell your boisterous, rude ego to take a back seat so you can take a minute in this hermit energy to really truly listen to what your soul is trying to tell you the magician you can do it you have all the tools all the power to do it point your mind towards your intuition point your mind towards your intuition and you will not ever fail six of cups manifest something else what you what what they want you to manifest is this opportunity that will present itself to you the second you decide that you are not going to ignore your intuition in this current situation the six of cups is the happy place it's the safe place every time i walk in my front door i am walking into the six of cups family home nostalgia memories warm fuzzies Mm -hmm. They're trying to lead you to this place. To the three of wands. Have some foresight. Have some foresight. And step over this obstacle that wants to keep you tripped up yet again, yet again, yet again. The nine of pentacles. Stand in your power. Just like this one back here. Standing in your power bringing this whole situation to a culmination in your strength. What is your strength? It is your source energy trying to lead you, trying to guide you to the King of Swords. Truth, seeing it for what it is and making some calls in your life. See the truth. See the truth, stand in your power, 
follow your intuition make some decisions the moon in reverse look at that quit ignoring your intuition and come to terms with this deep internal struggle inside of you between that which you know to be true and that which you do not want to accept as the truth do it pisces do it the two of cups to the seven of swords because this whole thing up here the situation that you think is great is not there is betrayal there is deception someone's trying to get away with something there's fuckery going on behind the scenes and you are going to get screwed over in this situation but if you will follow your intuition it is going to lead you to a place that is so much better than this so much better so much more secure so much better pisces so much better i do hope that that helped someone namaste there you go and thanks for watching you can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at The Gypsy Psychic, and you can schedule your own personal psychic reading at thepathofpurpose.org.